Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. The threat for severe weather is diminishing, simply not enough instability out there. Even though temperatures are warming and a cold front's coming in, too much rain keeping the atmosphere stable enough so that so far we're not seeing any storms, and hopefully that's going to be the case between now and, say, 1 a.m. when the front finally clears us out. On the alerts map, the flood advisories are off the board. We have a wind advisory in our eastern fringe counties for tomorrow afternoon when the winds can be gusting over 40 miles per hour in Dubois. Perry, Hancock, and Ohio counties. The rest of us, 30 to 40 mile per hour winds as colder air begins to work into the area. But live first warning Doppler radar finally showing the back edge of the rain approaching the Wabash River, pushing off to the east. Have seen very little in the way of lightning with any of these cells this evening. If you are trying to get organized here along Highway 41, pushing out of Webster County, so maybe some brief heavy downpours, maybe slightly gusty winds, but again, not seeing anything that's even close to being severe. And then the front should pretty much take all this out of here by about 1 a.m. A lot of rain out there today that we really didn't need. It was heaviest from uh, Evansville to the west northwest, especially in southern Illinois. As I mentioned at the airport in Evansville, about an inch and three quarters. The heaviest was up in southern Wayne County between Fairfield and I-64, just to the west of Hubbard, where our first warning Doppler system estimated about two and a quarter inches. Fell. This is the day unfolding on the Evansville River front. We had a little hint of sun early today, and the rain gradually moved in late morning and really got going this afternoon. And it's been raining pretty much uh, continuously this evening. But again, that back edge is getting pretty close here and not seeing any flashes of lightning out there. And that's good news, despite the fact we have warming temperatures, 54. And it looks like the warm front has now just moved through Evansville. We have a south wind at 9. Back at the dinner hour, it was an easterly wind. So that's an indication that the warm front is moving on through. And that's what we were a little concerned about with the warm front through, low pressure moving right over us. And, you know, a lot of instability, or maybe some instability, we might see some storms. We're just not getting that instability. Though the temperature in Madisonville, Dixon, Calhoun's at 63, along with Beaver Dam and Fordsville, Fairfield's only at 51. So temperatures may rise a little bit more here in the next few hours and then begin to fall back into the 40s overnight as that cold front moves through the area. Even down in the deep south where we had a tornado watch earlier, things are fairly quiet. There was one tornado warning in Mississippi right there, southern Mississippi here in the last hour, but that is it. Snow on the cold side of the system still flying. Northern Iowa, southern Minnesota, back into Nebraska. They're getting several inches of accumulation out there, but our rain will be coming to an end here overnight. Storm Prediction Center kept us in that marginal risk uh, south of I-64, so we'll keep an eye on things until that line clears the area, but nothing really showing up in Future Tracker by 1 a.m. has any storminess off to our east. We begin to see some clearing as temperatures drop into the 40s by daybreak. We'll have some sun tomorrow morning, and that's when our high temperatures will occur, ranging from 46 in Fairfield to 53 to 55 here in the metro, mid, maybe upper 50s in our southeastern counties, but then falling in the afternoon as the clouds move back in from the northwest and winds begin to gust 30 to 40 miles per hour, maybe in a few spotty showers in our northern counties later tomorrow as winter begins to move back in. And we'll begin to see some clearing, it looks like, around daybreak on Friday when temperatures will be around 30. Gradual clearing will continue on Friday with temperatures back to normal, highs around 40 degrees. Saturday still looking like the weekend day to enjoy with sunshine giving way to increasing clouds later in the afternoon. Highs will be up into the lower 40s. And it looks like this next system is going to be in here early enough on Sunday so that it could start as snow in parts of the tri-state before changing over to rain and ending during the day. So showers may be a storm ending here early on. Then we'll see some clearing. Still very warm. Lows only in the 40s. Our highs tomorrow will be in the morning with some sun. 46 to the northwest, 57 to the southeast, southeast, and it turns very windy and colder as we fall into the 40s. Gradual clearing on Friday, 41. Sunshine increasing clouds late Saturday, 42. We wake up to it looks like areas of, of rain and snow, maybe minor accumulations on the grass first thing in the morning, but Temperatures go up to 41, so that begins to melt away as the activity diminishes. Monday looks quiet, then another system comes in later Tuesday into Tuesday night of next week. That could be another rain and or snow event. Stay tuned on that. We will. All right, thanks a lot, Wayne.